My name is Kurt Jensen, and I'm a certified technical expert at Hank Greff Chevrolet in Davidson. The video you're about to view should give you a thorough explanation of how things work. I personally viewed it myself and found it to be very informative. Enjoy! Spark EV offers programmable charging in order to help take advantage of off-peak times when electricity rates are lower. There are three charging modes available. They're called immediately, departure time, and rate and departure time. To select charging mode options, press the leaf button on the setter stack. Then press the charging button at the bottom of the touchscreen. You can also select electric info from the MyLink home page. This brings up the charging screens. The charge start and charge complete time estimations are also displayed on the screen. These estimations are most accurate when the vehicle is plugged in and in moderate temperature conditions. Also, to get an accurate time estimate, the vehicle uses an internal clock for programmable charging, not the clock in the center stack. To switch the charging mode, press Edit. The immediate works just like it sounds. The vehicle starts charging as soon as it's plugged in. Departure time or electric rates are not taken into consideration. The departure time option allows owners to program a departure time that matches their schedule. Here's how it works. The vehicle estimates the charging start time considering the program departure time for the current day of the week. Charging begins at the start time and is complete by the departure time only if sufficient time is allowed after the charge cord is plugged in. To program a departure time, first press the settings option from either the departure time or rate and departure time screen. Next, press edit departure time to change the departure time. There are options to change the day of the week and the time of day. When the rate and departure time option is selected, the vehicle estimates the charging start time based on the utility rate schedule, utility rate preference, and the program departure time for the current day of the week. The vehicle will charge during the least expensive rate periods to achieve a full battery charge by the departure time. Electrical rate information from the utility company for the charging location is required for this mode. Also, if the selected electric rate settings result in a very long charging completion time, the vehicle will start charging immediately upon plug-in. For example, if the electric rate table is set up with all peak rates and the rate preference is to charge during off-peak rates only, then the vehicle will start charging immediately upon plug-in. To edit the schedule to accommodate for changes in rates, from the Rate and Departure Time information screen, press Settings, then press Edit Schedule. From this screen, you can select either the Summer, Winter, or Yearly options. To edit the Summer Rate Schedule, make sure Summer, Winter is selected on the top line, and then press Edit Summer Rate Schedule. To change the start and end dates of summer, press Edit and adjust the dates. Next, to adjust the rates, press the color bar and input rate information obtained from your power company. Press OK after the times are entered. When entering rate times, weekdays are Monday through Friday and use the same rate schedule. Weekends are Saturday and Sunday and use the same rate schedule. Both weekday and weekend schedules must be set. The rate schedule only applies for a 24-hour period starting at 12 a.m. and ending at 12 a.m. There can be five rate changes for each day. Not all must be used. The finish times must be consecutive. If a finish time does not follow a start time, the error message displays an invalid entry was found in the data entered. Please re-enter data. Follow the same procedure for entering winter electric rate info. There's also a yearly option if you don't have or want to use the summer or winter schedules. There is also a priority charging feature available in the departure time and rate and departure time charging modes. This feature is designed to ensure that the high voltage battery pack has a minimal amount of energy prior to delaying a charging. Upon completion of priority charging, the vehicle will return to normal programmable charging operation. The feature can be enabled or disabled by selecting on or off. 
When enabled, the priority charging feature will only prevent programmable charging while the batteries recharge from a depleted state to a level allowing 40% of the driving range. I hope that video presentation is your confident and how to operate your personal car technology. If you have any questions, please contact me by phone, email, or at my website, www.graphguru.com. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.